So before we start adding any windows, I want to finish the columns, the brick columns that we need in front of the steel pieces here, inside corners that we haven't done yet. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first reminder to save your project, if it's CV2 now, you might want to take the time to save it as CV3 so you don't overwrite project one with our module one with module two. And I've done that. Mine says CV3 start. And I'm going to go to the site plan to start drawing some more of these columns. I'm going to click over to site. And it's a little difficult to tell the brick columns from the foundations below. So I'm going to go to my rendering style and I could either choose consistent colors or for even more information, I can just turn to realistic so I can actually see what the brick looks like. And let's go ahead and get started with making some new walls now, some new columns. So I'm going to go use the wall tool again. It's already set for me for that custom brick wall that we made and it's set to go from level one up to the top of the parapet, which is what we want. So I'm ready to start drawing. I'll come up in the top edge and drag down the four feet. Remember that's four feet if we're going to the edge of a wall and three foot six if we're kind of going to the center line of that 12 inch wall. We don't have a really accurate way to align the wall tool here. So what I'm going to do is off the wall, I'm just going to drag a four foot piece of wall and then I'm going to select it and use the copy tool and come to the front face of it and come over and touch both the front of the wall and our grid line. And I have this set for multiple, so I can do the exact same thing over here. And we can go ahead now and just check and see what that looks like. And now we have our three, three columns covered, and this is still our working uh, piece of wall tool. So uh, let's take a, um, an attempt at making now an inside corner. And they're a little bit different because of where we try to grab our references from. So um, there's probably a variety of ways we can attack this. So I'm going to just jump in and grab the wall tool. And this is actually a, um, a difficult corner to start with, but we can come down and do that three foot six to the outside face. And I'll draw up until we come to the top. And let's see if we can do the same thing here. We have that same surface and that same three foot six inches. And I can drag it over this way. And before I click it, I'm going to hit the space bar. And then I'll click it, and now we have a corner. And once again, I'll pop over to the model view so you can see that corner there. Now we can um, simplify having to redraw all of these since we know these are accurate. It says three foot six when I select that one, and three foot six when I select that one. So I'm going to hold down the control key and select both of those. And actually, the first thing I'll do is I'll use the copy command, come in and grab the corner, and move this one over to here. And then Another technique I can use is select these and use my mirror tool up at the top. Select it and find the center point of a wall. Draw up 90 degrees and copy it over. And the only corner it looks like that we have left to do is this one here. And that's identical to this one. So I'm going to grab the select and grab with controls, multiple select, excuse me. Use the copy tool come to the very corner, and then move up and touch the very corner of that area. Always come in and check to make sure your work is accurate, the things are accurately lining up. Once again, remember we need that, um, we need a little bit of wall. So I'm going to drag this one, I'm going to just grab this and drag it over to here so it's available. Close by, now that's four foot long, so we can actually use that. So I'm going to use the copy tool, come and grab the corner, come up here and touch there. And I have multiple on, so I need to deselect it a minute. Let me hit delete. And we have one more to cover with, so I'm going to just use the move tool now. Front face, front face and grid line. And let's take a look at what we have now. So I'll go back to model view. And it looks like we have everything in place. Last thing we want to do is actually construct the back wall. So I'm going to hold the center mouse button in the, in the shift key down and roll around to the back side. And we're going to draw in 3D a back wall system here. So I'm going to go to the wall tool again. And this time I'm going to grab a 12 inch masonry wall. So it's the same width as the foundation we have, but it'll be out of CMU units, something we cover in lecture. And then I'm going to come over to this inside corner over here. I'll come in real close so you can see it. I'm going to touch that corner edge. Click. And I'm going to hold down the center scroll button so I can pan over. 
and continue. Oops, I lost the grip of my tool here for some reason. Oh, it's still there. I don't know what happened quite on that one. And touch that front face and click. Now it looks like the brick is overriding, but if you look at the top, excuse me, it seems to be a little bit screwy there. If we look up at the top, you can see how the brick is still to the back. It's just made a little bit of a visual error. And that has to do with the wrapping, and we haven't set that, and it's really not necessary. This is the only condition that that shows that way. So uh, once again, I'll, I'll rotate around here by using our icon there. And now we're all set. We have a back wall, all of our columns and bricks. The next thing we'll pick up is adding in some windows.